Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with, uh, you should not be on the cover of the screen right now because I might be taken down by YouTube. I'm back with more free hand order. Um, it's the Samba, it's Samba Night, Holy Night, and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna read the story. Uh, this is, a uh, I have, you, let me, mm, I'm gonna have to say this all the time. So this event has not come back to JP. There's almost no chance that this gets a rerun next year. If it does, that would make this the only event that North America has gotten that, uh, JP has gotten, if it got a rerun. Um, so I would suggest, if you can beat Lost Belt 1 very quickly, it's the only way you're gonna really experience Samba Night Holy Night, so. I'm gonna go in here. I doubt that I'm gonna be able to do all of it, but I'm gonna start it, because I love my girl Quetz. This is the event I've been waiting for for basically two years. Santa and Sam, so I'm gonna read it. I uh, hope you like it. If you do, leave a like. These are very hard on my voice to do, and uh, the more likes I get, the more I appreciate it. Comment, tell me how you're feeling about the story and stuff, too. Subscribe if you want more. Ho, 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 it's me, Santa. I was all set to deliver presents to good boys and girls with my trusty sheep, Zerko, again. But apparently no Santa can keep the job two years in a row, no matter how good they may be at it. But even if there will be no Altera Santa, there will always be a Santa. This year, I think it should be you to take up the mantle. Ho ho ho, if you asked me to give you a reason for that, I would say it's because you and I are somewhat... similar? I just have a sense that we have similar roots. Call it, a, call it an Altera hunch. Vaya bien, I have heard of this, being who brings joy to all, yes? By the way, I'm not even going to try and do- I am <laughs> I am Mexican, but uh, the way Quetz talks with her accent is very specific. I don't know how to do it exactly justice. As the goddess of prosperity, it would be my pleasure to accept this honorable job, yes! The way in my head, uh, Quetz speaks like someone who just learned a language. Hang on, you're saying you're a goddess? As in, deity? Would this be a sign of me approving of a Western values if I appoint her the next Santa? Well, I suppose gifts of raw liver would still count as presents. Yep, this should be fine. I think I mean life. I think I mean life is all about trying new things and taking opportunity opportunities as they rise, and Christmas should be no different. Besides, one of the great things about Caldea is that everyone gets a chance at being Santa, no matter who they may be. Okay, now that I've completed my completely perfect explanation, go ahead and take the Christmas Grail. Ooh. So here's actually a fun thing. Um, is that uh, it may seem weird for Quetzalcoatl to get a... Um, or Quetzalcoatl, I forget exactly how you pronounce it. For her to get the uh, Manta of Santa. But believe it or not, in Mexico, Quetzalcoatl used to have the Mantle of Santa. They used to pretend to celebrate Christmas instead of making it say, Oh, Santa's the one that's bringing you gifts. They changed it to Quetzalcoatl. So I think that's the reason why she actually also gets the, the Santa Mantle this year. Oh, what's this now? It's a one-of-a-kind super item that can bring all to life a matter of fluffy, wonderful, Christmassy things. Don't ask me how I acquired it. I'm just looking down one hand and there it was in my hand. Well, I don't know what all this is about, but it sounds lovely, yes. All right, then, if I don't, if you don't mind, if I... What? It's so hard, her shadow went... Oh my, this is... Whoa, whoa, you there, two A-rankers. What's the weird thing that we just detected from here? I'll admit that this doesn't, didn't go quite as I planned, mind that. It's a, what the hell did you just say? I'll admit that this didn't go quite as I thought, but never mind that. The important thing is that a new Santa has been born. Take a look, this is this year's Santa, all new sa- Oh, hey, now I am the perfect one to spread happiness and joy everywhere. I should start dancing now, no? Let's <laughs> let's try this some of this. Mm, yes, yes, this should be your dog. <laughs> and since this involves so much exercise, should help me train my core for luchas. Quetzalcoatl. See? That's a samba. Topacona Gorio? She won't she was so offhanded. <laughs> oh, whoops, I guess I must have misheard you. 
That's why I'm literally crying from laughing. That's why these things happen. Ooh, sounds like someone's coming, so I have to pause. So here's the funny thing. Usually I have to wait for um, people to go to bed in the living room. I didn't know that there was still someone there. They, the one person had left and turned off the TV and the other person was still sleeping there. I think my laughter literally made them <laughs> wake up and turn off the light and go to bed. Hmm, now what do I do? My spirit origin has stabilized so I can't change it again, no? But then again, but then again maybe I don't have to. Who says I can't dance and deliver presents at the same time? In fact, I bet that would make everyone even happier. It's the no es problema. True. Saint has more of a state of mind in a specific form. Changing up a letter or two shouldn't really make any difference. In fact, for all we know, Santa and Samba might even be the same etymology. What do you think, Da Vinci? No. No, they, they, they do not. Still, I can't imagine a divine spirit of Quetzalcoatl's caliber buying into different religions. Customs, so I can't say I'm shocked that her interpretation of this is um, so um, unique. That's not really why I'm here, though. It's about that signal I mentioned. I have to say, it's even way stronger than anything that going on into Samba mode would generate. Any idea what may have caused it? Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, you two definitely have more than an idea what happened. Come on, come out with it. Ma, allow me. Ma, I saw the whole tragedy unfold from the beginning. Who am I, you ask? Mba, I'm Zerko. Mba, Lady Altera's faithful sheep. Mba, basically Quetzalcoatl and the Christmas Grove were an exceptionally bad fit for each other. Mba, their myths were mismatched. Ba ba, a myth match, if you will. No le entiendo, pero what an observant little sheep, yes? I did not think there was a problem with the grill, no. Af not after I transformed like this. Uh, but I, I will admit I was a little surprised by all the backlash. Backlash? See, to put it simply, it feels like my power has been split in two, and as for where the other half could have gone, no se. I did see a light flying off in the sunset earlier. I think that must have been Santa. Also, I don't know if it was your other half or not, but I think the Christmas crowd disappeared somewhere, too. Oh no, lo siento. I can't believe I lost it right after you gave it to me. But if you think about it, Santa's all about giving presents, not getting them, yes? So I feel wrong for me to receive such a grand gift. Especially since I have already obtained more than enough power to become Santa. So I'm not going to worry about the rest of the Holy Grail power going off on its own, no? Good point. The power is yours to do with you as you wish. As long as Christmas is peaceful, I'm a handy Santa. See, I might be half the goddess I once was, but I shouldn't have any problem performing my duties as Santa. In fact, I think the part of me that flew off was the part that likes things uh, a bit rough and tumble, yes? So I think the peace-loving part of me should be able to handle being Santa just fine. Not that I look. Now that I look more closely, I can see she's a ruler. Is that because the side of her that got her people to stop making human sacrifice is stronger now? Hmm. I'm sure her half the flu will come on its own once Christmas is over and I'm back to normal. So don't worry about the thing. I'm going to be the best Samba Santa that ever was. Yes. Ho ho ho! That's what I like to hear. Very well then, I look forward to seeing you in action. Merry Samba, miss. What? A massive sort of holy grail energy and a being as strong as Quetzalcoatl are off to who knows where? Oh yeah, nothing could possibly go wrong here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh my god. Ugh. Hmm. You know what? I think I actually will just continue it. I actually <laughs> was really liking that a whole bunch, so 
I'm going to continue in the next video so it's actually easy. And this way, if you want to experience Samba Miss, this will be the first and probably the last time I'll actually do a full recording for an event. So enjoy it if you like it. Until next time, everyone. Goodbye. I'll see you in the next part.